I am Professor Amitabh Chakraborty, Senior Consultant Thoracic Vascular Surgery, Rumira Tagore International Institute of Cardiac Sciences, Kolkata. Today, I would like to discuss with you about a disease which is very common and a serious disease, but less talked about. It is deep vein thrombosis. We call it deep vein thrombosis or DVT. You are aware of cerebral thrombosis. coronary thrombosis you know that this type of thrombosis means the clot in the blood vessel of brain or heart and which may be life threatening but this deep vein thrombosis is very common but unfortunately most of us are not aware of it deep vein thrombosis starts with the swelling in the calf muscle of the leg and it may go proceed and the thigh may be swollen along with the pain at times with the fever the worst part of it that at times with this if some clots inside the deep vein gets dislodged that may go up to the heart or into the pulmonary artery and it may block it and just imagine if it blocks the pulmonary artery there will be no blood inside the lung to get oxygen and that will kill you that may be a sudden death or a patient may develop sudden respiratory distress with heart failure and get admitted in the icu so it can be that much serious critical disease but not all dvts are like that but we should have a idea what is a dvt dvt is the formation of clot inside the blood vessel of the deep veins of our limbs and as we stand that means the blood flows to the heart against the gravity so there is a stasis and that stasis leads to the clotting of the heart clotting of the blood vessel blood inside the blood vessel and this can happen when we go for a long flight or a long bus journey or on a trekking and you come back and find that there is a swelling in the calf and we think that maybe there is a muscle pull but it's not like that many a times dvt comes up so even in during pregnancy you may have the dvt even after surgery if you are lying in the bed for a long there may be a stasis and there may be dvt so dvt can be for different reasons some diseases along with the tumors cancers that can also lead and this dvt has to be managed diligently if you find if you think if you find that there is a swelling in the leg you don't think that it is a muscle pull you should consult a doctor to exclude dvt because a muscle pull may not be life threatening but a dvt can be life threatening so that has to be worked out and diagnosed so the doctor usually they clinically assess and then do the uh, advise the doppler study of the venous system and that will give an idea whether there is a block in the vein with the clot and how far it is going whether it is going inside the pelvic veins or inside the some iliac veins that is serious so in that cases you have to you sometimes have to go for a ivc filter particularly those patients who cannot take blood thinners which you call anticoagulants because they bleed so this type of patients may have to take the ivc filter but other patients they should take rest Rest doesn't mean the full blood bed rest. It's not like that. Earlier, people used to tell that doctors used to tell that you should not move. You should be in a bed rest. It's not like that. You can move, but you should not go to office or your workplace. You should be in the house. You can go to toilet. You can have your food, but no. Uh, what to say? That no strenuous activity. You have to say, avoid strenuous activity, and take the blood thinners. avoid green leafy vegetables why because the green leafy vegetables contains vitamin k and this vitamin k leads to enhances the coagulation so that has to be avoided so in this way consultation of the doctor keeping in mind that if there is any chest pain if there is any breathlessness then this may be a serious sign and symptom so may have to go to the hospital and always always i request because this month is a special month to have an idea of dvt as a physician as a surgeon i'd like to emphasize upon you please please 
think that DVT in the case of a patient who is having swelling in the calf muscle, swelling in the leg, swelling in the thigh and consult a doctor without having any idea that no, no, it is nothing. It will go within a day or two. So did not worry. It's not like that. We can prevent a life threatening disease. We can save many lives from this type of disease. And I wish that this idea will give you ample scope and ample knowledge so that some of your colleagues, some of your friends, some of your near and dear family members, if unfortunately gets DVT, will be benefited by this knowledge which we are sharing today. Thank you.